are these motorcycles the ultimate street bikes i don't know guys i think i'm a believer let's get into it All right, guys, so this is the Kawasaki ZH2, perhaps the pinnacle of naked motorcycles. Now, I know some of you that ride KTM Super Dukes, so you might be typing in the comments there and go right ahead. Let me know what you think of your Super Duke, because I'd absolutely love to ride one of those. But I am now a firm believer in naked bikes. I know now why these bikes are so great and why they're just perfect for the street honestly these nakeds are absolutely amazing for the street and in today's video that's exactly what we're going to discuss we're going to go for a ride and we're going to talk about why nakeds are just so good for everyday riding and not not even just that you know they're great for having a blast on the weekends because a lot of them are very very talky you know they do have that low end punch they do have that mid-range kind of pull your guts out feeling especially this bike anyway and if you're looking at kind of one liters and over for nakeds man you're gonna have one hell of a time the nakeds they pull they punch so much above their weight it's absolutely insane and uh, of course you guys know that a lot of nakeds have sport bike counterparts and things like that so uh it's one of those kind of toss-ups between you know do you want a more comfy experience but with less horsepower mind you less top end horsepower which might not be so useful out on the streets or instead do you want something that is really comfortable and has all the power exactly where you need it in that low and mid ranges i mean the, the zh2 is actually quite unique because it also has a load of power at the top end of the rev range it's absolutely insane so we're going to get on this lovely kawasaki zh2 supercharged by the way if you didn't know it's right there <laughs> big supercharger logo and uh, yeah we're just going to discuss how and why these bikes make perfect street bikes all right let's get on the bike let's go for a ride oh. i'll tell you one thing it was supposed to be significantly warmer today than it actually is my office says eight degrees celsius and it's actually five degrees according to the bike and that's not accounting for wind chill either damn it's a cold day roads are quite greasy this time of year now greasy is quite a generic term but it's true i i've had a few power slides on this bike over the past few weeks riding and uh yeah it's not because of oil or anything like that it's just because the roads are constantly wet constantly dirty you don't really get a full amount of grip on the roads unfortunately this time of year so yeah if you are riding this time of year guys and girls yeah take it easy <laughs> all right guys like i said i am now a believer in naked motorcycles look i was really skeptical of naked before this zh2 man how wrong i was these bikes are amazing and okay the zh2 has got a you know a really really good party piece and that is of course it's supercharger but honestly you don't need the supercharger you don't need it it's a fantastic bike on its own without all that extra boost i mean just take a look at a z1000 for example which is effectively the non-supercharged version of this zh2 i mean yeah it's a completely different engine guys okay i'll give you that you know what is it a 10 10 cc for the z1000 and this is a 998 cc so yeah they are different engines but you get what i mean it's basically a one liter without the supercharger and it is still an awesome motorcycle you're still getting 140 horsepower you're still getting well over 100 foot pounds of torque so you, you, you're looking really really good on on something like a z1000 and that's the best thing about nakeds is they have a load of that performance right where you need it right in that low to mid range and again that's that's where this zh2 is a bit unique because yeah it does have that almost like afterburner when you get past 8000 rpm it's absolutely insane the power band of this bike it just keeps on giving you power it's absolutely incredible but anyway I, i'm not i'm not trying to talk about the zh2 and how wonderful it is i'm trying to categorize all 
naked as really, really good, fun street bikes. Reliable, fuel efficient. Honestly, they're really good. I mean, you look at the MT-03, the MT-07 from Yamaha, and you're gonna get a really, really good pokey bike that has amazing fuel efficiency. This doesn't have great fuel efficiency, but again, you're sacrificing fuel efficiency for performance as usual. I mean, you look at an MT-10 from Yamaha, for example, and it's a very, very similar experience to this, where you're gonna get a load of performance, a load of torque, and it might not be as fuel efficient as some of the smaller bikes, as you'd expect. And look, guys, I know that Nakeds might not look that great. They might not look as good as their sport bike counterparts. I'll, I'll give you that. I personally love the look of Nakeds anyway. You know, I, I, I don't know why. I, I just like the way they look. Uh, but I know that a lot of you don't. So, you know, I mean, take this bike, for example. But there are reviewers of this bike that have said how ugly it is. I love the looks of it. It looks really modern. It looks really nice. I like the look of the ZH2, but I, I, I kind of understand where you're coming from. I suppose it's an acquired taste or something like that. But I mean, that's another thing about Naked, that how great they are for general use is maintenance is right at your fingertips. You hardly got, you've hardly got to take off any fairings to reach things like the oil filter, you know, doing, doing chain maintenance is dead easy so changing fluids is <laughs> it's all there you can it's all accessible it's really straightforward so i mean that's another reason why naked are such great street bikes they're really practical you know really comfortable great for doing longer rides great for having blasts on the weekends on these kinds of roads where you can go around the twisties and stuff I still need to get in front of this damn car. This road is too twisty. <laughs> the time you want a you want a straight a straight piece of road on a on a twisty road, eh? How typical. Oh, look, look, look at that 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 landscape. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean this time of year is a bit. Ugh, I I don't really like this time of year because it's always cold. I mean, oh god, it's saying it's four degrees C now. Ugh, ugly, ugly, horrific. But yeah, guys, naked. Honestly. If you're looking for a motorcycle that can do it all, a naked is probably the way to go. If you want something that you can have a load of fun on the weekends on, and no, you're probably not gonna ride it that often, you may be doing a few track days, okay, maybe look at a sport bike. But nakeds are really, really good for the kind of, kinds of people that cannot ride sport bikes. People that have back problems, people that have knee problems, people that have wrist problems. You will not have any problems on this bike. On a naked, you won't have any problems. Okay, maybe if you looked at like a Tuono for Aprilio, which is more like a sport bike without fairings. You know, it's based off the RSV4, so <laughs> it has the exact same engine, I think, or may maybe not actually this generation, not sure, but it has the exact same frame and everything. It's just got a different set of handlebars, I believe. So, yeah, may maybe not a Tuono, okay? I mean, as always, you should test ride the bike before you actually go ahead and buy it. But honestly, these are bikes that can do everything. They have the performance you need for the street. They have fuel efficiency for longer rides. And yeah, you can still take them on track days. And yeah, you can still have a load of fun on twisties. Honestly, guys, if you're looking for sport bike performance on something that is significantly more comfortable than a sport bike, look at Naked's. You've got a Yamaha's R7, look at an MT-07, yeah? You've got a, uh, a, 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 well, a ZX-10R. Look at a Z1000 or look at a ZH2. If you're looking at a, H, a, H2, a Ninja H2, look at a ZH2. Trust me, you're not gonna be missing out on that much. Trust me. It's, <laughs> it's certainly one of those, one of those bikes that really really pushes all the right buttons the zh2 and that's the thing i think a lot of naked bikes are also going to do the same thing for you they're going to push all the right buttons look at an mt10 awesome bike look at a jixus thou amazing bike <laughs> you know and i believe a jixus thou is one of the cheapest one liter makers that you can get at the moment 
So it's a killer deal if you are looking for a one liter naked on a budget. And that's another thing as well about nakers is usually they are cheaper than their sport bike counterparts. So you're getting a very similar performance package with a lot more comfort, with probably more fuel efficiency for less. It makes total sense, guys. Nakeds are amazing. They're really, really effing good. And I just, I, guys, this, the, honestly, if you've never ever tried a naked before, trust me, try them. There's a reason why so many people are buying nakeds because they're amazing bikes. And you don't have to sacrifice performance on them either. If you're looking for a 300cc naked, uh, the difference between the sport bike variant and the naked variant is negligible. You know, it's only when you're going to get up to mid-range to one litre motorcycles when, you know, you, you, you may be seeing a performance here. But, I mean, this NH2 has got the same amount of horsepower as an R1, guys. <laughs> So it's not like as if nakeds are even that underpowered anymore compared to sport bikes. They just make total sense. I have no doubt that you are going to find problems with certain nakeds, you know, like an MT-07 suspension might be a bit spongy or something like that. I mean, that's actually quite in uh, stark contrast to this bike where the suspension is actually performance suspension. It's relatively hard. It's not, it's not a soft ride at all. I mean, okay, you can make it softer, of course. They, they, they are adjustable, they're fully adjustable, but yeah, they, um, the suspension is, is performance suspension. Honestly, guys, I, I'm, not, I'm not lying to you on this ZH2, the performance of the suspension is fantastic. Gives you a lot of feel through the handlebars, you know, you, you feel like, you feel like you have the uh, the information coming from the tires straight to your straight to your arms, you know, you really feel it. But uh, yeah, I, I I get that on some nakeds you might not, there might not, might be some pieces of tech that you want, which you don't get. Fine, I I get that. It's it's uh, you know, they they will have to cut some corners with nakeds. That's why they're at a cheaper price point. But. I mean, guys, honestly, this ZH2 is significantly cheaper than the Ninja H2 and even a H2 SX. And it still has a lot of the bells and whistles that you get on a, on a Ninja H2. So <laughs> it really does depend on the lineup, I suppose. You know, you're not going to get that much difference in, in features from a Z1000 to a 1000 SX, again, they're basically the exact same platform, except one's got fairings. Uh, but yeah, guys, honestly, if you're out looking for a, a motorcycle and you want something to do it all, you, you can't afford to buy multiple bikes, look at Naked. Honestly, they are perhaps the best bang for your buck motorcycles you can currently get. Man, it's three degrees now here. Jesus, I mean, my hands are, are suffering a bit now, so probably gonna have to end the video fairly shortly because, uh, yeah, I'm freezing my bollocks off. But yeah, I, I honestly, I can't say enough good things about this ZH2 and across the board, guys. Try it, just give it a go. Yeah, and to be fair, by the same token, if you've ridden, if you've ridden uh, nakeds all of your careers, have a go on a sport bike. Sport bikes are amazingly great fun. No, they're not gonna be as comfortable. No, they're not gonna be as fuel efficient, but they are wickedly fun motorcycles to ride. So look guys, this is what this channel is all about, is getting you to try new things. If you haven't ridden a motorcycle before, get out there, do your CVT, get on a motorcycle. If you've ridden the same old motorcycles for most of your life, get yourself a different bike. Go out and have a test ride go to some promo events and test ride some different motorcycles you will be so surprised in the difference of the experience between them you know i cannot wait to get on a cruiser because it's one of those motorcycles that i've never ridden before but i want to try it because i bet you it's going to be enti entirely different to something like this and it's going to be a whole new experience for me 
and that is that's what I'm trying to do and I'm trying to portray those same emotions to you guys to the viewers to try new things get on your bikes go out go out for a ride go with your mates you know just go out and enjoy yourselves feel the thrill of the ride feel the freedom feel that wind on your face on your chest feel that that riding experience guys that's what I'm trying to portray to you you know just my enthusiasm my passion for bikes that's one thing that I want everyone to have <laughs> you know I, I, I get that that's you know a pie in the sky idea but if I can convince just one of you watching this video how good nakeds are or one of you how good the ZH2 is or how good the ZR 1400 is or how good the CBR 600 R is if just one of you is convinced by that video then I've done my job that's how I feel about it okay anyway guys and girls I'm gonna leave the video here I am starting to get really really cold and as you guys know my hands really really suffer <laughs> uh, this time of year so I'm gonna head on home as quickly as I possibly can but thank you ever so much for tuning in today's video guys and girls really really appreciate it make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe as usual if you enjoy the content and let me know your thoughts on naked motorcycles do you have naked yourself have you never ridden a naked before are you interested in riding naked let me know what bikes you have let me know what stories you have what experiences you have with your bikes i really really love to hear your thoughts thank you ever so much again for watching and we'll catch you all in the next video guys and girls have a good one